Hi everybody, this is Jen. Welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I want to continue with my basic series. In the last video, we talked about the different yarns that you would use for, um, for crocheting. And in this video, I want to go through some of the different crochet hooks that are out there on the market. So what I'm going to do, um, I'm going to start off, for many of you that already crochet, or are just starting out, um, <clears throat> you may have heard family members talk about um, hooks they used back in the day and generally the hooks that were used back in the day were just these bog standard metal grey hooks and um, I remember my mum and my grandma I remember them using these these um, metal hooks and still they are so widely available from charity shops and jumble sales I've got so many of them um, so they're basically just a flat metal hook they're in different brand names and they usually have a flat embossed thumb piece just there like a thumb rest um, I don't find these that comfortable to use simply because I, I need something to grip um, but there's not really much to say about these they're just a just a metal crochet hook um, some of the old um, sizing systems are, are really old I mean this one here um, we have the millimeters written on the side of it and the same with this one it's actually embossed on but this is just some of the metal hooks that that were around back in the day and that you of course you still can buy they're not just old-fashioned you can still buy these so that's the metal ones then we have um the plastic gray ones um i don't really find again i don't find these I find the yarn snags on these they're not my personal favorites but lots of plastic crochet hooks um, are, are the same so they go up the, the bigger the size they tend to go uh, tend to be made of plastic so it's just to show you just a few of the this is quite a big size this one I think this is like a this is like a 12 mil so that's really quite big and again the um, the crochet hook sizing will be on the side of the hook and it's always worth remembering that whatever the letter or number is that corresponds to your crochet hook sizing in, in the country you live in will be on the size of the hook and it should correspond with the yarn band on the yarn so here in the uk we use four millimeters or five millimeters but we work in millimeters i know that um, in the states and in some other countries they use letters or numbers so you just have to pick the one that's relevant to what you're using and it will always say on the pattern or, or, or on the tutorial so that's plastic crochet hooks um then we have um <clears throat> Again, we have the metal ones, we have these aluminium ones. These are also very wi widely available um, on the fronts of, um, sort of yarn magazines and, and things like that. You can buy these in most haberdasheries. Again, I find these, um, I need something to grip onto really, so I don't, but I know people who absolutely love these. They are very smooth on the sheath, however, um, when you're using the yarn, but it just can be a little bit uncomfortable when you've got the number of the this is a five mil and it's kind of embossed on the thumb rest which can be a little bit annoying but it's not you know it's not a game changer um so i certainly prefer the metal ones over the plastic ones again it's personal preference you have to try out a few to see what you like so what i'm going to talk about next because i love these i think these are just a really good all-rounder these again have the metal head and they have the kind of the soft touch grip now the whole set isn't actually here but this is a set that you can buy this is from Amazon this set and it's about eight pounds um, so that'd be about seven something dollars in the US and it's just fantastic it comes in a lovely case and you get some uh, stitch markers tape measure needles you know, so it's really really quite good value and it's perfect for those people just starting out as well because you might not want to spend a lot of money or unable to spend a lot of money and I just think this is a fantastic all-rounder. I will link it below for you guys. Um, and a lot of the ladies that I teach to crochet, I've ordered this for them if they don't have Amazon and it's brilliant. Um, I've got Amazon Prime, but I haven't always had it. And even when I've ordered um, hooks, they've come sort of the next day or the day after. So, you know, you won't have to wait long, but you really can't be um, a set like this. And they're available on Amazon and eBay and places like that. And I'm sure Walmart and some of the um, stores in the States sell these as well. 
so these are just really nice like I say they've got the soft grip handle and actually what I like about these and you might just be able to see the number has actually started to rub off on here which can be really annoying but then what they do and it's not very clear you might just be able to see it they've actually embossed it on the back as well so if it does rub off you can still see it on there so I just think that's really cool I really like those so that's those ones now then we have our quite funky ones these are just good fun um i buy these in to um for my children's um workshops because the kids just love them you know they they really do especially the girls they love the glittery ones and they're just a bit of fun again these were available um i think i got these in aldi but again you can buy them um online or, or anywhere really and they're just sort of plastic crochet hooks they do have the sizing on the outside and they kind of have these really cute sort of bubbles inside them they're, they're just really good fun and um they're eye-catching and, and the children love them so that's those ones okay um the next ones i want to talk to you about are wooden crochet hooks now i'm not i'm not a fan everybody knows me knows i'm not a fan of wooden crochet hooks um, they are quite widely available and they come lots on the fronts of magazines and things like that so I've got loads of them um, but I find that with wooden crochet hooks I find that the yarn snags a little bit or certain yarns snag a little bit um, I've got friends that absolutely swear by these and won't use anything else and that's fine um, although they are quite smooth and they are quite nice to hold um, I, I'm just not they, I just can't get on with them now I just want to talk to you just very briefly about the um, the shape of the crochet hooks so um, I'll find a big one to show you right so we have two types of crochet hook we have an inline crochet hook um, which has a really sharp incline if you can see down there now some yarns really like this and, and people f find it a lot easier to work with but the, the most commonly shaped crochet hook are the tapered ones. So they have a much smoother, rounder head. So if I just put those next to each other, like that, you can see that one's got the really sharp incline and another one's got the tapered head. I prefer the tapered heads, um, but I often find it's the wooden ones that have the inline. Okay, so that's the wooden ones. Now, as crochet hooks get bigger, they tend not to be metal because obviously that would make them really heavy. Um, so this is a really lightweight one I think this is made by Prim and um, it's quite nice but again it's plastic and I don't get on that well with the plastic hooks um, but it is very sturdy and it is very strong and it would be ideal if you were using a really chunky yarn then we have this one I love this it's got a really lovely smooth head it's got the ergonomic um, handle which I really like and this is made by Knit Pro Knit Pro are a really big contender they're up there with Clover and all the others and this one is a 12 mil so I tend to I love clovers which I will talk to you about in a second but if I need a bigger crochet hook I tend to go to the knit pros because I think they're fantastic and um, you know you, you really can't beat them unfortunately the clovers only go up to a size 6 so I tend to use these afterwards if I need a bigger hook okay so I just want to show you this very quickly just this is quite a bit of fun this is the crochet light and the name speaks for itself it is literally a crocheted light um, I bought this because I was working on quite a big project and it was black and I knew I would struggle with it and this actually really helped I've only bought the one this particular one is a 5.5 I bought it off Amazon and um, I wouldn't buy any more because I don't need to buy any more um, I just it, it's okay it's got the soft grip handle but again it's the plastic and I don't bode well with that um, but it is quite good fun when I take it along to my children's workshops or actually any of them this is always a real kind of um this is always a really good talking point the kids absolutely love this so that's the crochet light and they come in lots of different sizes they are about um six pounds in you in, in um, uk money so i'm not sure really what that is in dollars but um yeah they're available on amazon okay so now i've kept the best till last i won't talk about these too much because i have actually done a separate review for these but these are the clovers these are my babies and I love these and I actually keep these completely in a separate case just for these 
um, I started off I started off with a four millimeter um, one of one of these and um, actually this one here so it's a four millimeter so it has the size on the front and it also has the letter which corresponds to the sizing which is really good now these are made by clover clover again are a big contender they make quite a lot of haberdashery items and these just I just would not change these um, for the world I started off with just the one and I worked my way up um, because I couldn't afford the whole set at the time um, but now you can actually buy um, I think there's nine in a set it's about 28 pounds on um, on Amazon um, but I paid about three pound fifty four pounds each for mine um, and I bought them one at a time and I have about 15 of them all together they start from a 0 0.50 which is a really really fine head for doing really fine thread crocheting and they work up to a six I would say personally that's the only downfall is that they only go up to a size six millimeter but like I say um, the knit pros afterwards are again really really good so I just I just use those so these are absolutely lovely they're ergonomic um, if you're watching crochet videos on YouTube you, most people in my opinion will be using these they are brilliant um, they're all the same color in this range they're not the most flattering color but they have a really lovely smooth finish and the yarn just glides across them like butter I love them these are my number one hooks now clover also do uh, the clover amur and this is i've only got the one in this um and it's got exactly the same lovely smooth head just in a different finish just in a different color and again you've got the ergonomic um handle these are slightly more expensive that's just because they have the soft grip handle and they come in kind of pastel colors again you can buy these in a set on amazon um but in my opinion they don't beat the original clovers i absolutely love these so that's it i hope you have found this um useful and i will pop a link below i just want to say because i have talked about brand names quite a lot that i'm not affiliated in any way with any of the companies that make these hooks um i'm not paid by anybody or anything like that this is just my personal opinions and um, you know I teach a lot of people to crochet and so I get their opinions as well so I think I'm quite kind of qualified to, to give these opinions so um, thank you for watching and again I will say it thank you all for your support and subscribing to me and please do continue to do so and I will see you in my next video bye guys